A major milestone was achieved at the Irkutsk Aviation Plant this week, as the successful maiden flight of the second entirely import-substituted MC-21-310 airliner was an indicator of Russia's increasing pursuit of technological independence. The event is an important achievement in Russia's effort to develop a commercial jet that is wholly powered by domestically produced systems and is of the next generation. This latest test flight, which features an aircraft equipped with the indigenous PD-14 engines and a comprehensive array of Russian-made avionics, is not just a technical feat. It also serves as a strategic statement. It illustrates that Russia's civil aviation industry, which was previously largely dependent on Western components, has made another major move towards self-sufficiency in the face of changing global supply conditions and sanctions. The MC-21 project has long been a symbol of Russia's aspiration to re-establish a competitive presence in the global civil aviation market, which has been dominated by Boeing and Airbus. The MC-21 series was initially developed as a modern, fuel-efficient, medium-range jetliner that would directly compete with the Boeing 737 MAX and the Airbus A320neo families. It was intended to provide comparable performance while also promising to reduce operational expenses and simplify maintenance. Nevertheless, the program's initial phases were contingent upon considerable international collaboration. Western suppliers provided engines, avionics, composites, and other critical systems for the program. This altered significantly after 2014, when Western sanctions began restricting Russia's access to foreign technologies, restrictions that intensified after 2022. The architecture of the MC-21 was entirely re-evaluated as a consequence. A globally integrated development initiative was transformed into an urgent national mission in import substitution. The MC-21-310 variant, which is powered by the newly developed PD-14 turbofan engine and equipped with wholly domestic systems, was the focal point of this transformation. The second such aircraft, assembled exclusively from Russian-produced components, successfully concluded its maiden flight from the airfield of the Irkutsk Aviation Plant in October 2025. The Yakovlev Design Bureau, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, operates the plant. An experienced crew, commanded by test pilots Andrei Voropev and Oleg Mutovin, conducted the test flight, which lasted approximately one hour. Flight test engineers Anton Kuznetsov and Grigory Kudryashov served as onboard systems operators. Engineers were able to evaluate the behavior of the aircraft's newly integrated domestic systems under various flight conditions, as the Memsik 21 attained an altitude of 3,500 meters and speeds of up to 500 kilometers per hour during the sortie. Commander Voropev reported that the mission was successfully concluded without any technical difficulties. The flight assignment was completed in full. All Russian-made systems operated normally and as expected throughout the test, he said. This successful flight verified the aircraft's Russian-built system's reliability and enabled the airliner to participate in the ongoing certification campaign. The second aircraft will serve as a complement to the first MC-21 prototype, which made its inaugural flight on April 29, 2025, in its partially import-substituted configuration. Both aircraft are essential for the successful completion of the comprehensive test program needed for the initiation of serial production and certification. The second import-substituted MC-21-310 is not merely a test platform. It is the result of nearly a decade of industrial innovation and adaptation. Engineers and technicians conducted a comprehensive refurbishment of the aircraft's internal systems on the final assembly lines in Irkutsk, substituting all foreign-supplied components with Russian-made alternatives. The entire domestic re-engineering of all key systems that were previously sourced from international suppliers was completed. The systems in question comprise the Birio Integrated Avionics Suite, Wing Mechanization Motors, Stabilizer Control Mechanisms, 
flight control systems, and cockpit mechanisms. The aircraft also features a new flight information and data management suite, indigenous brakes, landing gear, and tire assemblies, and an environmental control and air conditioning system that was designed in Russia. Additionally, the fuel and hydraulic systems, as well as the main and ancillary power units, have been entirely localized. Each of these systems is a unique industrial success story that involves multiple companies under the Rostec State Corporation Aegis. The outcome is an aircraft that is genuinely Russian, as it is no longer reliant on Western suppliers for critical systems. The scope and speed of Russia's industrial mobilization in response to external constraints are illustrated by this transformation, which was accomplished in less than 10 years. The United Engine Corporation, UEC, developed the PD-14 turbofan engine, which is the cornerstone of the MC-21 310's success. Russia has developed the PD-14, the first entirely new commercial aircraft engine, in several decades. It is a clean-sheet design that is not only intended to replace foreign engines, but also to compete with them in terms of performance, efficiency, and reliability. The Pratt & Whitney PW1400G, a geared turbofan engine, initially powered the MC-21 prototypes in Western narrow-body aircraft. It was a significant undertaking to replace it. Nevertheless, the PD-14 has proved to be more than capable of fulfilling this duty. It meets ICAO standards for noise and emissions, ensuring compliance with international regulations, and achieves 10 to 15% greater fuel efficiency than older Russian engines, delivering 14 tons of thrust. The PD-14 is the result of teamwork and advanced technology created with new materials, lightweight fan blades, and modern design techniques. Also, its development led to the creation of a whole network of local suppliers that focus on making high-precision parts, like digital control systems and turbine assemblies. The PD-8 powers the Sukhoi Superjet NU, while the larger PD-35 paves the way for future wide-body aircraft. The PD-14's success has served as an inspiration for a family of derivative engines. These engines collectively serve as the foundation of Russia's aviation strategy for global competitiveness and self-sufficiency. The MC-21 program's carbon fiber composite wing is a defining innovation that greatly enhances aerodynamic efficiency while simultaneously reducing overall weight. The specialized composites for this structure were initially imported from abroad. Nevertheless, sanctions necessitated that Russia develop a composite manufacturing capability that was entirely domestic. In response, engineers and materials scientists in Russia work together to create their own carbon fiber and resin systems that can match or even exceed the performance of Western products. A comprehensive series of strength, fatigue, and environmental resistance tests verified the reliability and compliance with certification standards of the new composite wings. This accomplishment is not merely an engineering achievement. It signifies a significant advancement in the field of Russian materials science and manufacturing. Currently, various aerospace programs, both military and civilian, are adapting the same technologies that enabled the MC-21's wing. By mastering composite production domestically, Russia has ensured complete control over one of the most critical components of contemporary aircraft design. The flight is another major step towards certification and eventual commercial operation, according to Vadim Badeka, General Director of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. Vadim Badeka emphasized that the colossal efforts of engineers, designers, and test specialists across Rostec Enterprises achieved the milestone. MC-21 serial production has commenced at Irkutsk in conjunction with certification testing, Badeka confirmed. Once the Russian Federal Air Transport Agency, Rosaviatsia, completes the evaluation and grants full type certification for the domestically powered variant, deliveries to airlines are anticipated to commence. The certification procedure entails extensive testing across various parameters, such as structural endurance, flight control reliability, 
avionics accuracy, and long-term operational efficiency. The Aeroflot Group has expressed a strong interest in deploying the MC-21-310 on domestic and medium-haul international routes. The aircraft will enter service with Russian carriers once it has been approved. The MEMC-21 program's accomplishments are indicative of a more comprehensive national strategy to establish a self-sustaining aerospace ecosystem, rather than merely an aircraft development endeavor. An interconnected network of Russian enterprises with world-class manufacturing capabilities has been fostered by the localization of every significant component of the aircraft, including engines, avionics, and composite materials. This ecosystem now encompasses the entire production cycle, including engine manufacturing by UEC, avionics by KRET, composite materials by ONPP Technologia, and final assembly by Irkut Corporation. These entities collectively constitute a vertically integrated aerospace industry that is capable of independently designing, producing, and certifying intricate commercial aircraft. This vertical integration strengthens national security and industrial resilience and enables Russia to expand its influence in global markets that prioritize technological sovereignty, particularly in Asia, the Middle East, and Latin America, where emerging airlines are seeking alternatives to Western manufacturers. 2025 is a critical year for Russian civil aviation, as serial production is currently underway and certification is on the brink of completion. The MC-21-310 is anticipated to enter service shortly following its certification, which will serve as the commencement of a new era for the nation's air transport sector. The aircraft's performance is expected to expedite the development of future derivatives, such as cargo and extended-range variants. The program has, in general, revitalized Russia's industrial ecosystem, fostering innovation in a variety of sectors, including engine design, avionics, materials science, and manufacturing automation, and generating thousands of skilled jobs. In conclusion, the successful flight of the second entirely import-substituted MC-21-310 is not a standalone accomplishment. It is a major milestone in Russia's overarching initiative to modernize and reconstruct its high-tech industrial base. Each component of this aircraft, from its engines to its wings, is a testament to the nation's commitment to innovation in the face of adversity. The MC-21, slicing through the skies over Siberia, carries the weight of an entire nation's engineering ambition. The message is clear. The era of technological dependency is coming to an end, and the era of technological sovereignty has begun. All the modes are necessary. We checked the landing approaches, saw two passes, made one smooth configuration. One release did not take risks in the wind because the wind was breed. Everyone saw what happened at the launch and had to wait. So when the weather reported that there were gusts exceeding the limits, Oleg Evgenievich and I decided to approach from another direction, but you saw the entire landing with your own eyes. That is, thank you everyone, but thank you very much, but we were ready for everything. We analyzed the weather the day before yesterday and yesterday, so we were ready for all scenarios. Nothing would scare us like an airplane. The airplane is beautiful. Well, look, handsome. Even despite the fact that not everything is painted in white, blue, and so on, the plane itself is simply beautiful. When and how did our great designer say that a beautiful plane flies beautifully? Today, from the territory of the Irkutsk tonnage plant, rose into the sky two prototype aircraft MC-21. Well, it's simply replaced in our appearance. This is a great victory for the team of the Yakovlev Design Bureau, the team of the Irkutsk Estonian plant, dozens of teams of our developers, manufacturers of aggregate systems. And today we can say with confidence that the Russian aviation industry is the only one in the world that can produce modern civil aircraft. Fully relying on their own capabilities. And at the moment our main task is the early successful completion of infectious flights. We will actively fly two aircraft. 
Our task is to ensure the safety of future operation and in parallel on the territory of the Irkutsk plant. Serial production has already been deployed on the areas of the Irkutsk plant in order to ensure the exit as soon as possible. Those liners on the line. But this aircraft in general should become our main aircraft because the airline is very much looking forward to the medium haul aircraft. Well, we have one batch going to Aeroflot, now we'll leave. Negotiations are being held at ACK. Negotiations are being held with several airlines. This is what the population told me. I have really needed it for a long time. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 